very sporadic Christmas countdown. So if you don't know, my name is Brittany and if you're new to my channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button. Just relaxing on the couch. So I haven't done this in a while. So I am going to do the Mermazing Mermaid of the Week. And the Mermazing Mermaid of the Week this week is going to be Jackie Johnson. Thank you so, so much for your love and your support. You are such a beautiful person and congratulations. Now, if you would like to win next week's Mermazing Mermaid of the Week, all you have to do is comment down below or comment on any of my videos. I do read all of your eyes' comments. And another way to get noticed is also to share my videos. If you do share my videos, definitely make sure to tag me in them on Instagram, just so then I can see that you tagged me. I'm sorry that like this video I'm talking so low. Sebastian is sleeping, so I don't want to wake him up. But today we are going to be talking about Belschniffel. I think I pronounced that right. Could be wrong, but anyways. So Belschniffel is a very loud, cankerous guy who dresses in furs, which I don't think I could ever wear something that was dressed in, like, that was fur. But anyway, so carries a bundle of birch switches. Now, Belschnickel visits the children in person, which is pretty cool because, like, these children actually see and meet Belschnickel. So he visits the children in person weeks before Christmas to decide whether or not they have been good or bad during, like, throughout the year. He is from the Palatinate region. Oh, my pronunciation is so bad, but it's of Southwest Germany. And his tale was brought to America by German immigrants who are now known as Pennsylvania Dutch. He is said to be just one of the many different companions of St. Nicholas otherwise known as Santa Claus. So Belschnickel is also known as Beltsnickel. Chris Kinkle, which is very similar to Chris Kringle. Pelsnickel. And sometimes even as the Christmas woman. He is often described as wearing torn and dirty clothes. Topped with a, like a cloak of assorted furs, deer antlers, and other natural decorations. He has long, tangled hair and a scraggly beard. He doesn't look like somebody that you want to encounter, I guess. And he's also seen wearing a cap of furs with even more deer antlers. And occasionally he'll even be wearing a scary mask. The other interesting thing is like, like Santa Claus comes with, you know, the elves and the reindeer and stuff, Belschnickel actually goes to the children's houses alone. He doesn't have a companion or an animal or anything like that that he brings with him. Now, the very first hint that you will get that he is, you know, heading to your home, like that he is, I guess, arriving, is that you will get a tapping on the windows. And this is caused by the switches that the Belschnickel is carrying. Then the door will suddenly burst open as he rushes inside and literally starts berating the children with questions to try to figure out if they were naughty or nice. And he has this like, like raspy voice and he's like, the way that he moves is very, what's the word, um, abrupt. So it's, I feel like it could be a little intimidating to the children, but I guess in a way that kind of will like make them be more truthful if they're intimidated because then like they don't want to lie. Now he literally quizzes the children on whether or not they've been nice. And if you can't prove that you were nice. He will literally swat you with the bundle of birch switches that he carries in his one hand. So you definitely want to make sure you're nice because I feel like that would hurt a lot. But if you were nice, then you can expect some sweet treats that he carries in his bag in the other hand. 
which I think that's a, a better option. So these treats are usually small cakes, candies, or nuts. Now, I had never heard of Belschnickel before. And the very first time that I had heard of it, which I'm sure some of you might be able to say this very same thing, is in the office, Dwight comes in to the office dressed as Belschnickel. So that was the very first time that I had ever heard of Belschnickel. And it's funny because Jeff will always like, he always calls him, like, he always says that he's something else. He says that he's a different like Christmas spirit and not Belschnickel. Maybe Krampus. I think he always confuses him with Krampus. But Belschnickel is like, yeah, he's like dirty looking and a little intimidating and stuff. But he's not mean, really. As long as you were nice, where Krampus is just sad. Scary. Like... <laughs> Which, I mean, okay, I guess the Belschnickel, in some cases, can be mean if you were not nice. But, because some stories suggest that the naughty children that were not nice throughout the year were actually taken and kept by Belschnickel and never returned home. Ones that he felt could redeem themselves he gave that opportunity to and he would have them perform various acts they were either made to dance sing or recite poems basically whichever he wanted at that time which still a pretty terrifying thought that he could like go in and take the naughty children but I mean, just be, be nice, you know, you know, share and give and just spread kindness and you never have anything to worry about. And there are certain people in, or there's still, <laughs> there are still some people in certain parts of Europe that actually still believe in the Belschnickel. And I think in the United States, there's still some people that believe in the Belschnickel. There's so many different Christmas spirits, you guys. It's insane. And I want to touch on as many as I can during this very sporadic countdown. But if you guys want me to cover any specific one, which I do have a list already, so there's definitely more coming, but drop down below which Christmas spirit you most resonate with and which one, you know, you've heard of or you just want me to cover so definitely drop those in the comments below again congratulations jackie johnson for being the amazing mermaid of the week you are literally amazing so i just want to thank you again and if you want to win again the amazing mermaid of the week next week all you have to do is comment down below make sure you are subscribed to my channel that is very important and if you want to be noticed even more, you can share my videos. Just make sure to tag me so that I know that you did. I hope that you guys are enjoying the holiday season. I know that it's not like any holiday, like Christmas season that we have ever been used to. And like you walk into the stores and the shelves are empty of Christmas decorations and it's you know it, it's sad because this is supposed to be the happiest time of the year and I know a lot of people to a lot of people and myself included it doesn't feel like Christmas time but which I mean I my lack of you know backdrop is not helping that but again moving soon so then we'll have a backdrop and it'll be a christmas themed backdrop and then get to decorate and all the all the fun joyous things of christmas <laughs> but i hope that you guys are having an incredible holiday season and you know still looking forward to christmas still giving back and 
you know, spreading that joy and that love. And again, if you are new to my channel or you just simply enjoy my videos and you are not yet subscribed, definitely hit the subscribe button. It would literally mean so much to me, you guys. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I love you guys so much and I hope that you have a very magical holiday. Until next time, I love you.